Hello everyone, myself Shelly Gupta from ASIC Guru. Today I will teach you how to simulate Verilog code using VS Code. Uh, I am assuming you already have VS Code installed in your laptop. Let's open the VS Code. First let's install the ex extensions required for Verilog. Go to extensions, type Verilog here. Click on this uh, Verilog HDL extension, this green one, and click on install. Okay, so now Verilog extensions are in installed. Now go to Explorer and uh, type your Verilog code. I'm using some already existing Verilog code. Let's use this 4-bit counter which counts counts from 0 to 16. So uh, to compile this we will be using iVerilog. iVerilog is a free open source tool that simulates and synthesizes Verilog source code and it also simulates the design. So type iVerilog here on the terminal. Okay, You can see this iVerilog is not recognized because we need to first install it. To install the iVerilog, go to Google and type download iVerilog. Click on this first link, iCareS Verilog for Windows and it would download the required executable. Go to executable and start the installation process. Make sure to click on this checkbox as it would set environment variable path. If you want to create a shortcut, desktop shortcut, click on this one. Now uh, click on install and insta installation process would start. So installation is finished now. Now go to VS Code. Now again type iVerilog. Okay. Now you can see this command is recognized. Sometimes even after installing iVerilog, it still do not recognize it. To fix that issue, what you can do, you can set the environment variable path again by typing following commands. dollar env path okay just check the path uh, variable value okay you can see this path is already set but sometimes this path is not set so you can simply set it by using following commands this is for setting the i very look and same command for setting i very look gtk wave So now uh, all the settings are done. Now you can use the iVerilog command for compiling your source code. So let's compile our 4 bit counter using iVerilog. The command you can use is iVerilog minus o counter counter dot v. So what is this minus o option? This is it specifies the output file. If you do not use this minus O option, then the default output file would be A dot out. So let's use this output file. Okay, so we will pass this output file of I very low to the VVP command. VVP is simulation runtime engine. So VVP will dump the waveform dot VCT which is passed to the GTK wave for viewing the waveforms. So 
so initially reset is high and after after a delay of 5 seconds it is set to low so you can see at every passage of clock count counter value is getting incremented and it keeps incremented until it reaches maximum value of 16 so once it reaches the maximum value of 16 it will it will again get the count request but overflow is happening since it is a 4 bit counter so uh, now it is getting reset so this way you can write your Verilog code and simulate it using VS code thank you